discuss downloading and installing the IQ6000 program. So go to the IQ6000 and up above, click on Downloads, and then what we want to do is click on Software, and then choose PC or Mac software. Click on it, and you'll get this downloaded. Double click that and see if it can install on the Mac. It comes up that it's unverified developer, so what you need to do is close that. Right click the icon again, and this gives you an option to open. And so just click to open, and we'll come up with the install program which will look the same on Mac or PC. So here we just say continue. So we click on continue and that will start the install process. It tells you it's going to take up so much space, etc. So just hit install again and that's it. Um, you may have a security check like mine does. You have to put in your password to allow the software in, but um, just type type it in and hit install and it's a fairly quick install so now you're all set installed you can open the program this icon will be showing on a PC or in your Mac you might have to go to launch pad to launch it and then uh, add it to your uh, bar so good luck and I'll show you how to use it the first page of the report comes up this is what you see what we want to do is go to Top left here, this is the inspection, new inspection. You want to choose your template. Now I use one template all the time and modify it generally. So I'll push OK on that. And our template comes up. Now we can um, fill out the report and there's other videos I've done on that just so I want to give you how to download reports say you already purchased some reports just go to download reports you put in your login probably your email and your password you would have set this up on iq6000.com on the web page itself and so then you enter once you've entered these and I just uh, remember them but if you wanted more bulk reports, right now up here we only have two. Anything under five will be in red. So let's say we're going to add five, download five from your database. We just put the five in under bulk, push OK, and you'll notice it went up to seven. And since it's over five, it's not red. The red's just to help remind you that it's time to order some new reports. Now before you get, once you fill it out, you can uh, do a proof PDF and proof PDF will be just like a regular PDF but it's going to have writing across it says do not buy this house based on this report, something you would not want to give to your clients. Uh, that way you can go through it, proofread it, it doesn't cost you anything. It's once you start making PDFs then that's ones you have to pay for. So you proof it first, and um, here's here's the sheet, and there's other videos on how to do this, but you can unselect anything you don't want to go in there. Say you only had one bath. You could unselect that so that doesn't print. And uh, then down here you can add cover sheets and in the beginning of the report, and then you could also add uh, a PDF at the end of the report, anything you want, I add. A PDF of a signed contract. So this is how you get going on it. You see the other videos for specific editing and the like. Then have a great day.